You don't want to get physical with me. I'm I'll take you down. Get, I'm not going to get physical. I'll sweep your leg. Threat, sir? I'll sweep your leg. It's it's fake. It's a fake criminal record. Fake, fake, fake. It's all fake. Everything about me is fake. Show me your driver's license. Do you have one? Is that a requirement? Yeah, you, you have a driver's license. Are you ordering me to do a thing? Sir, I have a complaint to turn in. You are impeding the complaint process. You're violating multiple of my civil rights. Joshua Abrams. All right, good morning, uh, everyone. Before I have the party to introduce uh, themselves, I'm brought to the court's attention that there are a number of people on the Zoom who have an interest uh, in the outcome of this proceeding. I just wanted to let all the Zoom users know, first, you're obviously welcome to be here. This is a public and open space and forum, uh, but there is no recording of the Zoom that is going to be allowed or tolerated. The court is also not going to tolerate any interruptions or interference with the proceedings in any way, shape, or form. Any violation of those orders uh, will be grounds for contempt and sanctions will uh, be imposed. Uh, so I, I just expect everyone's uh, cooperation uh, with the court's order. And now can I have uh, Madam Clerk swear in the parties and then you'll identify yourself. Mrs. DeCastro and uh, the two defendants, please raise your right hand. Do you raise your right hand, Mrs. DeCastro? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Raise your right hand, please. Do you solemnly and civilly swear that any statement you're about to give this court is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so hope you guys? I do. I do. I do. Thank you. All right. Thank you all. I have before me Mr. DeCastro's two requests for harassment orders against Mr. Abrams and Ms. Peters. Mr. DeCastro, are you seeking uh, to have these orders issued against these two individuals? Oh yes, please. I was, I was definitely on the orders issued. It's uh, it's you know, it's beyond the scale of anything reasonable. It's incredible. It's astonishing. All right. So before you tell me any any anything else, sir, I'm going to handle this uh, one party at a time. Uh, I want you. I did read your affidavits uh, for both of your requests. I want you to first ex explain to me why I should issue an order against Mr. Abrams based on what you've put in your affidavit. Well, and then Mr. Will, Abrams, you'll have an opportunity to respond after he tells me. Just please don't interrupt him, okay? Thank you, Your Honor. Go ahead, Mr. DeCastro. Well, Your Honor, on uh, on August 30th, 2022, in a video called Search Success, Delete Laws, Communications Found, Josh Abrams, who's seven times a felon, who's out on, just got out of prison from armed robbery, so, Mr. DeCastro, I'm going to stop you right there. I have the benefit of having Mr. Abrams' record here in front of me. That's not the issue before me. The issue before me is what specifically you're suggesting he may have said or done to cause you to come into court and request this harassment order. So I want you to stick to the facts as they pertain yeah, directly to you. So in the video, he's driving around Boston actively looking for me, working in conjunction with Kate Peter. They have a Technology hasn't caught up with the laws yet, and that's what this case is truly about. The reason why your courtroom is so full of people is because there's internet trolls, Your Honor. I mean, you say the word troll, you have to change the name troll to harasser or harassment. They call it a troll in today's era, but it's it's just harassing someone else or being a nuisance or something. So, stress. Mr. DeCastro, you say that Mr. Abrams and Ms. Peters were driving around Boston looking for you, and is that yeah. one of the reasons why you're asking for this order? Oh yeah, Your Honor. They, they have. So when a, did that happen? Know, that that was on August 30th, 2022. My my assistant. Okay, have there been any other Excuse me, ma'am. Have there been any other incidents since this August 30th incident or them driving around and looking for you? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, was, I, was, in the, I was in Boston in New Hampshire from around August 28th till September 5th or so, September 7th. And Miss Peter visited my home where I was in Boston visiting with a friend. She took a picture. Now, uh, the incoming documents that I have with my assistant will show you. I've already called the police on this woman over Memorial Day. The police were already involved. It already became a physical interaction. Mr. DeCastro, um, are you talking to me about Miss Peters right now? They, they work in conjunction, Your Honor. So sometimes the stories kind of blur. I apologize. They work in right, So I'm focusing on Mr. Abrams right now. I want you to limit what you're okay. telling me to what he may have said or done that caused you to come into court and request this order. 
And I appreciate well, that there may be some overlap and you might have to repeat yourself when it's time for me to hear from Ms. Peters, but I want you to address specifically and solely what you're alleging Mr. Abrams has done. Well, he, Your Honor, so I know you have a record in front of you, but being a felon is a scary thing. And then he was actively on a video driving around, accepting donations, looking for me while I was in Boston. And what Kate Peters does is she marks my location and then she sends a troll farm, a harassment farm after me. This, where the laws have not caught up to where we are. I've got a bunch of affidavits from people who went down, swore statements, and got it notarized for you to read. There's four different people who she's done this to previously who have written these sworn statements that are notarized. My assistant's on his way to your court now to give you those four different affidavits. This is beyond incredible, Your Honor. You can't imagine what I'm going through. You can't even fathom it. They're stalking me. And Josh drove around saying he's looking for me. Except but with all nation. due respect to you, Mr. DeCastro, You've told me about two things, one of which was on or about August 30th, where you say that Mr. Abrams and Ms. Peters were driving around looking for you. And then you tell me about August 28th through August 9th, where perhaps a photograph of you was taken. No, so no, it's not I'm clear sorry. to me what exactly you're experiencing okay. or going through, and I'm so, asking you to be clear. So, okay. On August 30th, Kate Peter posted a picture of herself at the lobby of the apartment I was staying in in Boston. What that does when she posts the picture, which my pistol has two moments on the report now, she marks where I'm at. And then once my location is marked, she has 25,000 professional harassers who will look up where I'm at, my location, anybody that owns anything around me that I'm associated with, and then they'll inundate them. That's what the four affidavits are, are other people who these people will mass contact in an attempt to harass me. And so they went out to my, they went to my place in Boston. She literally posted a picture on her community page on YouTube. I believe it was August 29th or August 30th, September 2nd. I have the actual photograph. And then I was staying at a summer home out in New Hampshire in the middle of nowhere. They drove out there, put up a sign that said, Kate always wins, put up balloons. I have pictures of all of the stuff in the text messages with the people whose house they went to that freaked them out. Because this was out of nowhere in New Hampshire. They had to drive 100 miles to get there. So it was and when was this New Hampshire incident, sir? What's that? When was this New Hampshire incident? It would have been September 5th, September 6th. I have screenshots of the text messages coming from the homeowners saying, what the heck is this? Who are these people coming out? They were alarmed. And they fired my friend who works for them. He had to fight for his job back because they were so spooked. Mrs. Ma'am, this is so harm. I don't think you understand what's going on. She just marks the location, and then they come after you. And my other affidavits from people who also notarize, you'll be able to read it yourself. I mean, it's taken me a month to put everybody together, so I don't know these people that she just contacts. You know, it's crazy. I have a federal, I have a federal court lawsuit against both of them. So now that I have the court lawsuit served, now I can get a subpoena for Airbnb where they came to my Airbnb on May 22nd and marked my location. They put it in case Discord server called the Chili Watch Discord server. And then they came to my house at three o'clock in the morning and tapped on my windows and doors. I grabbed my gun, I was terrified, I was in Ohio. And then the next day, someone walked into my house, I put a gun to his head because I didn't know who it was. My Let me ask you this, Mr. DeCastro. Why do you think Mr. Abrams and Ms. Peters are doing this. Ma'am, that, that's what I'm trying to say. It's a thing on the internet now. It's called trolling, but it's, it's called harassment. And what they do is they get as many people- I understand what them. harassment is, sir. I understand what trolling is, but my question is why would they be trolling or harassing you? That's how they make money, Your Honor. They make money by finding someone who has a big personality. It's not just me. They'll attach to any person. They've been doing this for years. I have affidavits by people who also have the same story as I do. And matter of fact, Kate has a criminal case coming up where she violated a, a, a harassment protection order last month. She has a criminal case coming up this week. And then another guy also has a harassment protection order in this court on Friday. And then another one in New Hampshire on Monday. I mean, the law is finally catching up to this woman, but this is what she does for a living. She finds someone who's really outgoing, has a big personality, and then she attaches them and 
harassing them professionally with 25,000 harassers. She hates people. Your Honor, when, if I can question her, you'll see she, she, what she's doing is criminal. I can prove it right here in these courtroom today. I can prove what she's doing is criminal. And so, Mr. DeCastro, it sounds like you're saying a lot of she's and hers. It sounds like the bulk of what you're, you're telling me relates to Ms. Peters and not to Mr. Abrams. They're, they're, they're freaking cracked, Your Honor. They're hip to hip. Uh, so, Josh Abrams, where she did, Your Honor, and I have you know, thousands of text messages. He faked being my friend, and the whole time he was acting like he was my friend, he was giving my location to Kate Peters so that she could bombard me. She showed up and physically had a physical interaction with me where I went to the police and I filed a police report because we physically interacted. Remember, I, I don't know her. I've never dated her. We want friends. We want coworkers. I don't know this woman. She just does this to people on the internet. And what she does, though, remember, she's just a marker. She marks your location. And then she says, it wasn't me that came to your house and put dog shit on your doorstep, which I have a video from the company to show you. They put dog poop all over the door and broke my doorknob. My van was stolen out of my driveway three weeks ago. That's scary. I mean, whether I like it or not, I'm not afraid of Captain Peter. I'm afraid that she's the marker. And then the bad people come after me. And there's a guy named uh, Joseph Hart who wrote me an affidavit. He explained that she did the same thing to him, and he almost got hurt badly. I have a sworn affidavit from him coming in. So, sir, you're, re you're referring to affidavits, which I don't have in front of me, so I'm not going to consider that. Now, what I am going to do right now is turn it over to Mr. Abrams to give him an opportunity uh, to address what you've told the court. Sir, in the back, sir. please put those papers down. You're not a part of this proceeding. Sir, if you cannot comply with the court's orders to not interfere with this hearing, you'll be ejected from the courtroom. I don't want to have to do that. The parties before me are Mr. DeCastro, Mr. Abrams, and Ms. Peters, and no one else. That might be my assistant, Your Honor, for the paperwork. Well, and your assistant is not you, Mr. DeCastro. I'm sorry. I'm just no. trying so to I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Abrams right now to give him an opportunity to respond to what he can make of what you've told the court, Mr. Abrams. Thank you, Your Honor. Good morning. Good morning. Um, if I could give just a little bit of background to explain how I know this gentleman. Please. Thank you. Um, I did meet him through YouTube. Uh, we had not met personally. We travel within the same YouTube sphere or community where we do the same type of social media. Um, at that point, we became friends. I started following him and he, I. Uh, at one point, he did come to Massachusetts to, uh, to go out and film with me. There was an incident at a Memorial Day parade in Stoneham, Massachusetts, uh, where we attended with the intent of filming the parade, some of the police officers there, and anything in the surrounding area. Uh, at one point during the parade, now, uh, myself and Ms. Peters actually have uh, somewhat of a contentious past. Uh, you know, her job uh, in some capacity is to report or give oversight or reviews of things that I do. So we do know each other, but it wasn't always in a, in a friendly manner. We, we rarely ever spoke. Um, but in this incident at this parade, uh, which is still uh, live and available on Mr. DeCastro's channel, Delete Laws, he started walking up to several children, uh, mostly female, between the ages of approximately six and nine, and was... Mr. DeCastro, please do not interrupt the proceeding. Oh, the warning that I provided applies to you as well. Go ahead, Mr. Abrams. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, still on this live video, it shows him walking up to these young children, stating that um, the police will rape them, to not trust the police, and never call the police. Uh, about this time, I started separating myself from him um, because I, I am an absolute free speech advocate, but I feel like parenting someone's children is unacceptable, but this behavior was even more so. Ms. Peters did show up um, to, you know, kind of troll us, to get us on video now, and uh, for us to have an interaction, which I had no problem with, I did not feel threatened by it. Um, it was, it's the internet, you know what I mean? She was not saying anything hateful or anything that put me in fear. Um, it seemed that Mr. DeCastro uh, immediately uh, became upset. His live stream, also my video is on the internet now as well. It's gone somewhat viral, um, where at this point he sees now Ms. Peters doing the same thing that he's doing. She's following behind him and saying, I'm with him, I'm with him. Uh, on three separate occasions as seen in video, he actually steps back and body checks into her. There are three different points where he physically shoves her, one for about three to four feet. It's captured very clearly in video. Mr. Abrams, I'm going to interrupt just for one second. Yes, what date was this? This was on Memorial Day, Your Honor. This past year? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
at this point, the police did see what was going on. They said on the video and in their report that, you know, we saw what you were doing. You're trying to bump into her. You're pushing her. He, at that point, asked if he could tase her or assault her. Uh, the police told him that if he did that, that could end in criminal charges. The police asked all of us to leave for the sake of the children. Uh, one last time, when the police officer turned his back, again captured on video, he turned around and elbowed Miss Peters, uh, Miss Peters' wrist. He being Mr. DeCastro. Correct, Your Honor. Uh, causing the phone to actually fall from her hand. At this point, as you can see from his live stream and my video, he became so physically enraged um, going after her that I physically, now this is someone supposed to be my friend, I'm now physically holding him back from someone I've had a contemptuous relationship with because I'm now concerned that his behavior is either going to hurt Ms. Peters or some of the children that are nearby. Uh, at that point, the, um, the issue, our friendship quickly went downhill. Mr. DeCastro appeared for a restraining order, in which I was a witness on behalf of Ms. Peter, just several days after this event. He tried to get one against her. Yes, ma'am. This okay. is his um, second attempt. It was first at the Woburn District Court. Um, it was not given to him, uh, and a, a, much the same as in this case, a date was set up for us to be heard in front of a judge. And in front of that case, uh, the judge again said that there was no warrant or merit. However, when we went on break from that courtroom, as Ms. Peter was present, uh, I went outside. Mr. DeCastro first find out, found out that I was being a witness for her uh, at that date. So as he's just now found out, we're now in recess from court. I immediately started receiving, which I've saved. What date uh, was that? that you this was, do you remember the date of that? June 12th, possibly, Your Honor. Okay. Um, I immediately started receiving text messages, nothing threatening, um, but as a witness against him, I felt uh, that it was inappropriate to now be receiving text messages saying that what I was doing was wrong and how saddened he was, but there was nothing physically threatening. Um, at, at this point, Your Honor, uh, I did start doing videos on Mr. DeCastro as these videos became public interest. Oftentimes, as you can see, the videos are of me watching his live streams, uh, reviewing things that he said, correcting certain thin things that he has said. Uh, and Mr. DeCastro's um, affirmation on, on his affidavit for this restraining order today, he said he gave my location to Kate Peters, causing the Im Im uh, intimidation uh, or danger I didn't, a lot of what Mr. Ca Mr. DeCastro says relates to trolls and people that I can't, I have 90,000 viewers, 23 million views. I certainly cannot um, make people do anything. It's very clear in my videos, I always say that in no way would I wish for people to contact him. Uh, in no way am I asking for people to contact him. This is the internet. People leave comments on my things that I don't like. People leave comments on his things that I don't like. But it should be kept in mind that on the date that he's saying that um, you know, I went to follow him with Mr. DeCastro failed to remit to the court is that he was on a live stream interviewing public interviewing in public at a public place in Boston. He also announced that he had service with me. I believe the gentleman standing here today. I'm not aware of his name, but that is his uh, that is his, one of his friends or his his colleagues um, that is now trying to stand up and uh, I believe maybe serve us. Uh, but we were served a, a lawsuit or attempted lawsuit from this gentleman. So I went to get service. That's what I was, and this gentleman apparently is doing his service for him. You can see this gentleman in the video. So I absolutely- I know that you were going to be served. Um, uh, he made, he made public statements, Your Honor, letting me know that there was a lawsuit, um, that he came to- On the live stream? Yes, on that, I'll, I'll, I'll yes Your Honor. Okay. Um, on several live streams that he came to Boston to serve both myself and Miss Peter. Um, that he was contacting a constable, that he was going to serve me, uh, and I live with my elderly mother. Um, and to avoid uh, constables, and I, I work all day, so to avoid constables or people she doesn't know showing up at the house, um, he said, I'm going to serve Mr. Abrams as soon as I can and when I feel like it. So I felt that if he was with the person who's now available trying to serve me now when he's first seen me, then I would go and get the, and get the lawsuit in hand. He wound up ending his stream. Uh, I did not seek to go find him after that. I did conduct several more videos, um, but nothing certainly with uh, credible threats or fighting words. Uh, he says that I announced that I was working with several Discord accounts as he traveled the city to find Jose. Um, I believe this is the incident that he's referring to, Your Honor. I was on a live stream. I did not have the capacity to operate in Discord, and the Discord that he's referring to has over 2,000 people in it, most of whom I only know by a moniker or a tag name. I don't know these people. I don't ask them to go to Mr. Peter's, uh, excuse me, to Mr. DeCastro's house. 
I would ask that uh, my, my record has no relevance, although I recognize my record. Um, in this case, it seems to be confusing as today I've brought as evidence, um, I was on a live stream just two days ago. Uh, and this is a gentleman that's saying he's in fear of his life to the point that I must need to be physically restrained by a court order. He's not um, verbalized anything that would put him in fear that I have done directly, either that or indirectly, or provided proof. He has, however, said in a live stream recently, for someone that is quite scared of me, he took the time to, I went on to a live stream, Your Honor, when he was there, and he, he dropped off, and then I continued a conversation with the channel owner for about 20 minutes, when we were talking about a case that they were covering or reviewing. At that point, Your Honor, he found it necessary, being, in, um, being scared for his life, intimidated by me, to come up on live stream. I have a video about 30 seconds of that today where he came on the live stream. Uh, he called me a rapist. He called me a fat piece of shit, which is his freedom of speech to do so. And then he made, uh, on two separate occasions during this live stream, two separate fist gestures. And he told me that he better hope that, excuse me. So his, his, if there's any foul language, I'm going to ask you to abbreviate. Don't say the full word. Yes, ma'am. Okay. My apologies. He said, um, you better hope when I find you there's no cameras. Because, you know, you better hope there's somebody to save you. And I have that today. I brought it with me. made a fist gesture. Later on during the live stream, he told me I was going to get it. Again, Mr. DeCastro uh, made a fist gesture on about approximately four other live streams. He said publicly how he could, uh, he didn't say he was going to, Your Honor. He said he could beat the SH out of me. Um, so these are all documented instances of Mr. DeCastro actually making violent threats uh, against me. More so, Your Honor, um, I believe that this has nothing to do with any legal proceedings or Mr. DeCastro feeling in harm, in jeopardy, in any way for myself or Mr. Ms. Uh, Peters. I did bring video today as well, which I'm obliged to provide to the court, of Mr. DeCastro saying, uh, I don't care if this goes anywhere. I'm just going to keep going after them legally. I'm going after them over and over again, and I'm going to take every dime they have until they can't afford a lawyer, until I destroy them. He quotes, obliterate them. Um, I, I believe that this is a vexatious attempt, more so proving Ms. Peters' interaction with him, where this is the, the first time I'm in court, but we went to a, a local court out of my jurisdiction. A judge denied it. We went in front of another judge, Your Honor. A judge denied that as well. We're here today, Your Honor. He cites that Ms. Peters has several different court dates coming up. Um, it's actually from the same thing. They apply, this gentleman, I believe, if that's the correct person, filed for, again, a restraining order against her. It was denied out of um, New Hampshire. So when it was denied out of Hampshire, that's the hearing date, much like today, that he has coming up. So it's not a separate date. He then came to Massachusetts to do it again. It appears, Your Honor, that this is uh, an attempt to um, either substantiate his, his lawsuit, but in no way, shape, or form um, have I, or do I believe Mr. DeCastro has proved today that I have uttered uh, any true threats or fighting words that I have personally... So just personally... to go through his affidavit, on, on May 30th of this year, your suggestion, he's saying you gave his locations to Kate Peters, you're saying he was live streaming. Yes, ma'am, the video okay. is still up, Your Honor. The video, and I believe the last time I checked, it had 11 point something thousand views. Uh, Mr. DeCastro, 95% of his videos are actually live stream. Uh, okay. And I believe the video on this date, he was actually questioning people about okay. if they were aware of their constitutional rights. He was live for about an hour and a half. And, and just spread it to my point, because he was live streamed, his location was known and knowable. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay. Um, especially where he was live streaming, because he was showing where he was at. He was talking about the significance of the building he was standing in front of. Okay. Um, you know, and secondly, I did not send anything in Discord, because as he was live, Your Honor, I was live as well, um, and you know I can't during a live stream then leave the live stream and go through Discord. I think Mr. DeCastro mistakes and confuses um, whether it's his knowledge or lack thereof concerning things that if someone does something or they say oh, you're a jerk because you know Josh or accountability for all said this or said that that is that is not me. That is you know my my company what I do I portray a character online. Uh, I cover civil rights, rights issues on my backup channel. Uh, I cover more public interest events. Because of this case, Your Honor, because this is public interest, I've covered this quite a bit more. Mr. Abrams, you denied that on August 30th. You, did, you didn't announce, well, if you did announce that you were working with Discord accounts, it wasn't with the intent to have anyone else go and find him. No, no, Your Honor. Um, I didn't announce that I was working with Discord. I did personally say, Your Honor, um, 
in complete and total honesty that I was going to try and find because this is this gentleman here was with him and is his assistant, his server for legal documents. Um, so I did try and uh, make an appearance to go there so I could get served. He ended an hour before I was uh, able to get and there. And again, on August 30th, that was another live stream where during that live stream, I think he's actually referring to the same one, Your Honor. That's, there was only one live stream, and I still have it, that I ever went in search of him. Was there never an August 30th incident as far as you're concerned? I, I unless, no, I mean, I, I don't think so. I mean, okay. I think he's referring to the same incident. I, I could be wrong. Maybe it was mentioned on a panel or like a talk show venue uh, where I was reciting the incident that happened. All right. um, but there was not a second time where I attempted to find him. And my my actions were warranted, Your Honor, because... My mother, she's 76. She is elderly. She's a retired government employee. No, I understand. And, I'm, I'm, I, I understand. I understand up why time. you may have uh, traveled to wherever he was to try to get the service that he was suggesting he, he wanted to serve upon you. On September 2nd, uh, he says you uh, physically went searching for him, even asking for funds. Uh, what do you say to that suggestion? Your Honor, um, I, I believe, again, that when we're talking about the dates where where I was going to find him. I believe this stems from the same live stream that I did when I was out with another gentleman that is here in court today, and we were taking a video in probably about 30 minutes from Boston of a car accident. I believe that's the issue that he's talking about. Um, I never went to give uh, his location to Ms. Peters, and I did ask for funds. However, that was because, Your Honor, YouTube does not pay till the 22nd. Um, I have to appear now in court for what I believe, um, for all intents and purposes, is vexatious litigation. So I did explain and recount the best of my ability and my honesty what happened, my history with Mr. DeCastro, where we are at now legally with both pending civil matters as in the restraining order case and the, um, the, the federal lawsuit. And I have been asking that if anyone would like to contribute funds to that matter, uh, it is greatly appreciated. Understood. We were not able to reach that goal, obviously, as I'm representing myself here today. All right, I'm gonna stop you, Mr. Abrams and Ms. Peters. I'm gonna have you come up now and address the court. Mr. DeCastro, you have an opportunity to address, no, you'll have an opportunity to address everything that was said after Ms. Peters is done. The reason I'm doing it this way, sir, is because your presentation, you lumped them both in together. So it makes sense for me to hear from the right. both of them. And then you can address at the end. So I'm going to ask you to mute yourself so I can hear from Ms. Peters. Ms. Good morning, morning, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, we can just stick to the affidavit here. Otherwise, it can get extremely convoluted. I apologize for the circus. This is, for all intents and purposes, a spectacle that is, um, you know, going on in front of thousands of people. I do run a YouTube channel. Um, Mr. DeCastro, in my opinion, has been um, most... Um, vehemently going after me because I am female. I am more successful than he is. Um, he seems to take exception to that. I've been a very harsh critic of his. My speech is protected. It contains no true threats and no fighting words whatsoever. Um, Minister DeCastro, on the other hand, since the 7th, when he asked for this order, has issued a n um, number of veiled threats at me, telling me that I'm you know, going to have people show up at this courthouse. He actually has someone in the courthouse right now who has filed for a restraining order in New Hampshire against me that it was denied. He actually has an active harassment order against me right now. So I have to be here. This gentleman doesn't. I find it preposterous that they, these men are purporting to be afraid of me, but then going out of their way to be at the same venue that I am. Um, this is just an ongoing campaign to chill my You're saying speech. this other person has a harassment order against active you? Active right now. Not Mr. DeCastro? No. Dane came in the courthouse. He came here of his own volition knowing that I was going to be here, right? This is the gentleman. Sir, I'm, it's not your time to speak. Mute yourself, Mr. DeCastro. This is your last warning. This, this gentleman in the, in, the, in the back of the courtroom with the, the sunglasses? In the glasses right there. I, this is the second time that I've encountered this gentleman. The first time was in West Roxbury District Court when I was on a matter that did not, contain, did, did not concern Mr. DeCastro or Mr. Zane. They accosted me in the courthouse four times. They had to be removed by court officers four times. They then waited for me outside of the courthouse. Okay. Take your time. So let's, get the the let's get back to the affidavit. Let's get back to Mr. DeCastro's affidavit. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, I've never stalked him physically. He can claim that I have uh, for the court's consideration, although I would appreciate it. I understand that usually evidence would be shared with the plaintiff. This is my location history for the last four months. I don't want him to know where I go. I don't um, see it. But I have not left the state. I don't really leave the South Coast. I have two children. I'm employed um, full-time as a property manager. This YouTube is my second, you know, second venture, really. Um, 
So I've never physically stalked him. I've never showed up to anywhere where he was going to be. I've never caused any physical altercation. What about this Memorial Day parade? Oh, I did at that point. It was YouTube content. He was um, yelling at children. He was scaring children. I went up. I was a disruptor, and it constitutionally protected behavior. He was he took great exception to it, again, because I believe I'm female, and he doesn't like being stood up to by a female. Um, and he proceeded to physically assault me numerous times. He threatened me. Um, he threatened me in the presence, not only of Mr. Abrams and hundreds of onlookers, but uh, police officers as well. And portions I, of this assault uh, yeah, I were caught on video? Were captured on video? Were portions of this assault yes, captured on video? it was captured on video. I declined to file so charges. So he said that you physically caused a physical interaction. In the, in the same way that uh, Mr. DeCastro recently wished bone cancer on children and then apologized and said that I caused him to say that. It's a page out of the abuser's handbook. He's blaming me for his behavior. At no point did I physically strike or physically approach Mr. DeCastro in a way that would invite being assaulted. He's the only one. So August him. 2nd, he says, uh, you mass tracked, I'm not quite sure what it says, and I think yeah, he I, says you got him canceled. What do you say to that? I got canceled. I, I got him canceled. He's here. I don't even know what that means. No, I mass tracked. He, he live streams his location. Mr. DeCastro, Clearly, as we can see in his, with, in his deportment before the court, he is a divisive and kind of abrasive individual. He's broadcasting himself to potentially millions of people. I cannot control that they don't like him. So he is getting trolled online. He always gives the reaction that people are trying to elicit. You know, he, he um, constantly sort of behaves in a way that people find to be vile and objectionable. People online react to that. I have no control over that. He can't point to one instance where I've ever ordered anyone to do that. That's preposterous. I cover him because I consider it to be public interest. It is my YouTube channel as a source of income, which he takes great ire, you know. Um, but it, I, it's at no point am I, you know, personally making contact with him or, or threatening him or putting him in any fear. I mean, again, he's got his associates burying me with paperwork, you know, asking the courts to civilly restrain me and then show up at the venue that I'm at. August 6th, he says you got him kicked out of his Airbnb. What no, that's, that? again, preposterous. I would like to see how I did that. And then, um, sort of reverse order, he says, uh, June 12th of this year, he stalked, he stalked you. You stalked him physically. To his Airbnb. Again, I have my location information. No, I'm not stalking him physically. I mean, as far as to paraphrase the law, I'm certainly not an attorney nor a judge. But, I mean, stalking has an element of physical danger written in there. At no point can he point to any time that I've, you know, even put him under the impression that he's physically in danger of me. If anything, I would say the contrary is true. He's made numerous threats against both myself and Mr. Abrams and anyone who dares to criticize him online. And do you agree with Mr. Abrams that the two of you sort of were contentious before? It, all extremely. Of this? I put out this man's entire criminal record at some points, you know, and been very, very harshly critical of his uh, treatment of police officers. You know, we have different, but I mean, uh, apparently we can both align in this goal, which is that, you know, this man is, is abusing the court systems and it needs to stop. And I would hope that it would stop today. He did not come in here asking the courts to give him protection. What he is expecting the courts to do and has been very vocal about is to exercise prior restraint on my free speech. Is there anything else you want me to know, ma'am? No, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mr. DeCastro, now is your opportunity to address everything sure. that you've heard in the form of a closing argument, okay? Um, I, I think, Your Honor, as we all introduce my witness and the evidence is the travesty of justice. You're listening to people stand up there and give you a story with no evidence. Mr. DeCastro, I, I need you to slow down your speech. I need you to slow down your speech because I'm having a difficult time understanding what you're saying. It's so, very muffled in this courtroom, so slow down. Okay. So what I'd like to do, Your Honor, is I'd like to bring in my evidence because what you're listening to right now is a couple of, of people who are, they're not the good people in this. Now, what I did, I became a national figure when I created a timeline that shows the history of lynchings in our country in comparison to the history of the prison charge. I became a national figure. Now, people started to recognize me. These people, what they've done now is they're stalking me through private Discord accounts with anonymous people. Now, you're listening Mr. Castro, to I, I have a hard time understanding how you're being stalked if you well, are I'd publicly like to, displaying like your location by way of your I'd live like, streams. Are I, you not I live streaming? Ma'am, ma'am, if you don't let me talk, then you won't hear me. I, I have a question, and, though. I have a okay, question I'm for you. I need you to answer my oh, question. Right. You just, are you live streaming your location? No, ma'am, listen. 
you don't understand what is happening is criminal. I'd like to introduce evidence at this point. You're just hearing stories. I spent the last few weeks. With all due respect, Mr. DeCastro, stories or testimony is evidence. So I'm taking your Stronger, testimony just like I'm taking the testimony of Ms. Abrams and Peter. I mean, you're not letting me finish at all. One is a seven-time felon, and the other one is on mandatory state medication that he lost two of her four kids. Ma'am, these are bad. None people. of those issues are relevant for my consideration, sir. There, there, there is a particular statute that applies here. They're not telling you the truth, and you're not looking at the evidence. I'd like to call my witness, Dane Kane, and start to introduce real evidence and affidavits from people who she also stopped to harass. And, and cause major fear and anxiety. And I'd like to call my witness with all the evidence I prepared for the past two weeks. I'd like to introduce the evidence and not just people talking. I'd like to introduce sworn affidavits from other people. I'm not going to consider the affidavits, sir. Those are hearsay. Your Honor, you have to look at the videos that she makes. This is insane. You're listening to people who are putting on a good front, but they're the bad people. That this is beyond reasonable. I'm trying to explain to you. At least three of them, I'd like to call my witness so he can testify what he's been through by just knowing me. And let him introduce his evidence. What he's he been through is not relevant for me to determine if you've experienced something such that you should receive an order. Right. I'm receiving So again, Mr. Staff. DeCastro, I need you to address what Ms. Peters and Mr. Abrams have said. Everything they said is a lie. It's not true at all. Nothing they said was truthful, Your Honor. I got the video to show you. You won't, for some reason, you won't accept it. I sent the man there from New Hampshire. He did get his protection order. She violated it immediately. She violated a harassment protection order last week against a woman named Lauren. This is what she does for a Are you a party to that order, sir? It, you have to take, as a judge, all relevant information that could be pertinent to the case. Are you a party to that order? Are you going to let me... Is that a no? Are you going to... I'm not. Are you going to let me use my evidence to call my witness? I'm asking uh, you if you're a party to the order involving Ms. Peters no, and someone no, else. No, are you going to allow me to enter? Yes. Okay, so again, Mr. DeCastro, I need you to stay on point and speak to me about... What I just heard, Ms. Peters and Mr. Okay. Abrams so tell Ms. me. They've Peters, denied okay. every single thing you said. Okay. They've told the court okay. that you've been live streaming your location and that they're able to show up because they're live streaming your location. They tell me that they're not stalking you at all. They tell me essentially that you are all YouTube people who have YouTube followers uh, who neither of you all can control uh, what your YouTube followers do. That's what I have in front of me so far. I need to understand why you believe they are harassing you such that you should get an order of protection. She put my address online. She put my address where I'm at right now online. When I got here, there was dog shit on my door. It's on video. There was, uh, there was what on your door? Dog poop on my door. It's on video. I got a video of the whole thing. She came to my location in Boston and posted a picture of herself in the lobby of my building. She went to where I was on a summer vacation in New Hampshire and showed up there and put her name up there. Kate, Kate trolls always win. They have the pictures right there. She showed up to my location to intimidate me and cause fear in me. And then once she marks my location, the trolls will then literally go into physical violence. And she, she chased me down in Memorial Day. Her video says, I stalked him across the city I was checking in with the private Discord server. Is he still there? Yes, he is. I'm driving across the county, white knuckles, and we're tracking him. I'm like, is he still there? And then she says, he's not getting away without a confrontation. And then it shows me, push her away from me. Then I went and filed a police report because it had become physical. I didn't ask her to track me down to where I was in Boston. She literally is on video saying, I raced across the two different cities to get to him. He wasn't, she parked my car in. There's a photograph. She parked my car in so I couldn't leave. She said on video, I parked him in so he couldn't go. I was going to have a confrontation with him. That is not free speech, Your Honor. Just watch what the day video. was this, Mr. DeCastro? 
That was Memorial Day where she came down where Josh was, was privately texting her our location. He's supposed to be my friend. So then he's telling Kate where I was. And then Josh filmed our interaction so that they can embarrass me online. It was a, they did it together. But if I chased across the country and it said, I'm chasing across the country and I'm checking in with people to make sure she's still there. My God, I can only imagine. And this ridiculousness. I was raised with feminists, with seven women. I've identified as a feminist my entire life. The idea that I'd be jealous of a woman's success is just a way to try to count how to you, I suppose, Your Honor, but that's crazy. My, my mom is travel champion, what she's talking about. It's just a way to paint me in some crazy negative light. But if you just take a look, I'd like to call Zane. There's a nine minute video that shows the actual events that happen in order. These are, they're telling you really the story, but the evidence shows something completely different. And when you listen to Zane, they have, I mean, just knowing me causes some massive problems. Because the troll farm attacks anybody I know. It's way past what you think. I'm suing them. You know how, how hard doing law is, federal tort law, filing a lawsuit against these people? It's an, it's an amazing amount of work. I just want them to leave me alone and stop talking about me and let me go on with my life. It's not prior restraint, it's stalking me. Look at the video, they broke my doorknob on my on my front door. There's dog, there's, there's poo all over my hand. You can see it. <laughs> you won't look at it though. All right, Mr. DeCastro, thank you uh, for your testimony. I've heard enough to make a decision uh, in these matters. Uh, the legal standard has not been satisfied, sir, for either of your requests. As such, your request for orders against both uh, Mr. Abrams and Ms. Peters is going to be denied. This hearing is now concluded. Can I call my witness? This hearing has concluded, sir. You're all set. You're all all set. You're all free to go. Um, to call the director of court office. Please. No clapping. No applause. No applause. Please. Please follow the direction of the court officers. You all can leave one set at a time. Mr. DeCastro, the hearing is over. Whoever is controlling the Zoom, Mr. DeCastro can leave the meeting at this time. What a joke. To all the other Zoom users, thank you for your respect. Uh, you're obviously free to stay. This is a public forum, um, but you can also leave uh, if you're no longer interested in the day's proceedings.